I'm Jack Elston here with Black Swift Technologies. I'm going to talk about a very exciting project that we've been working on lately, where we're trying to fly a three pound airplane into a hurricane. This project with NOAA has been uh, incremental. We've been developing this aircraft over the last three years. We're calling this airplane the S0. It's got a bunch of different meteorological sensors on it. We measure pressure, temperature, humidity, and three dimensional winds. We're also measuring the sea surface. So we can measure temperature of the surface of the sea, and we can also measure wave height. For this year, we have 18 different aircraft that we've put together that we'll be taking into the storms. The S0 packs down into a tube, and we use these tubes to transport the aircraft, and we also use them for launching. And the P3 that we're flying in, and actually controlling the drone from in the back of the airplane, uh, it only has a very small hole in the floor of it, and so what we'll do is we'll go into the eye of the, air, of the hurricane, um, they'll open up that hole, and then we'll drop the aircraft through it. It's contained in this protective tube, it hits the wind stream very fast, um, after a certain amount of seconds, it deploys a parachute. And the parachute's not really big enough to slow it down significantly, but it does orient it vertically. Once it's oriented correctly, the aircraft knows that and actually drops off the protective tube on the outside of it. And from there, it can fold out its wings and start to detect the wind and the environment around it. Once it's ready to go, it releases itself from the parachute and then can go and start conducting its mission. The S0 is interesting in the fact that we've got some pretty sophisticated algorithms on board where we're able to fly into the storm, actually know where we are located in the storm based on the sensors, and go and find the maximum winds. And the reason why we do this is this is the interface where most of the storm is gathering its energy. So we'll go very, down, very far down low, very close to the sea surface, and go collect the information that you can't get with manned aircraft because it's too dangerous to fly there. And all of this information gets collected by the aircraft sent all the way back to the P-3, which is the NOAA manned aircraft that we launched these out of, and sent back over satellite to the National Weather Service. The National Weather Service puts this on the server and it gets ingested into hurricane models, and hopefully all of this information that we're collecting will go to vastly improve hurricane forecasts. 